Hi, I'm Steve Gill with your daily notes for June 15, 2011. You know, just a few short years ago in 2006, unemployment was at 4.4%. That, of course, was when President George Bush was in the White House. Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid were complaining about that 4.4% unemployment rate. Just a few short years ago, when Barack Obama was inaugurated as President of the United States, the unemployment rate was 7.1%. He thought it was too high, and so we put in an economic stimulus plan that cost us a trillion dollars. Since then, unemployment has risen to 9.1%. There are nearly 2 million more people out of work today than were out of work before we spent the trillion dollars on the stimulus plan. But Barack Obama has figured it out. He's figured out what's the problem that's causing the high unemployment rates, and it's not what you expect. He's got his finger on the pulse. This is his answer. The other thing that happened though, and this goes to the point you're just making, is there are some structural issues with our economy where a lot of businesses have learned to become much more efficient with a lot fewer workers. You see it when you go to a bank and you use a, an ATM, you don't go to a bank teller. Or you go to the airport and you're using a kiosk instead of uh, uh, checking in uh, at the gate. Seriously? ATM machines and kiosks at the airport? These newfangled inventions are apparently what's causing the high unemployment rates that weren't that high just a few short years ago. Apparently in 2006 we didn't have any time teller machines, although I seem to recall using them. Apparently in 2006 you didn't have people at the restaurants and, and airports and other places using automated devices to pay their bills. You didn't have folks in the grocery stores going through the self-checkout aisle. You didn't have people at gas stations pumping their own gas just a few short years ago because all these newfangled inventions are the real reason we have high unemployment. Now the reason we have high unemployment is because Barack Obama and his economic team have pushed through policies that have broken the capitalistic free market system. They've raised taxes. They've increased the burden on businesses with new regulation. They have broken the back of our economy. And now he's pointing the finger at newfangled inventions like ATM machines and kiosks at airports. You wonder why the economy is not improving? It's because we have people in Washington who don't have a clue running our economy. And it won't get better until we throw them out. We'll be back with more Daily Notes tomorrow on The Steve Gill Show and at gillreport.com.